It's a new series, Six Street Crypto, coming to you from Austin, Texas. What do you need to know in crypto? Well, let's talk about the normie world for a second. People with money have what are called registered investment advisors. Those are people like, I don't know, they used to be called stockbrokers. People who, you know, pretty much get incentives from their employer and make recommendations from mutual funds to manage stock accounts, etc. Now, I'm sure registered investment advisors looked very smart by telling their clients somewhere at the end of 2023, why don't we take all of our money and put it in a 5.5% treasury bond? We'll just sit here and we'll collect our 5.5% and let the world burn. Well, guess what? Guess what happens when you play it safe? You miss out. Here's what I mean. So somebody sitting in either a 5.5% treasury note or how about gold coins that they overpaid for after Silicon Valley Bank in July, how high do you think crypto has to go before either their registered investment advisor calls them and says, hey, I think we should get into Bitcoin. I don't think it's gonna take that long. I think the clients are gonna be calling the registered investment advisors and going, why are we not in Bitcoin? What is wrong with you? Now, both of those conversations can occur in 2023. They can definitely occur in 2024 because one thing, the, I, the RIAs, or any of these mutual fund companies or the individual investors, they don't know anything about foreign exchange. They don't know anything about currencies. So what if there's a problem with the yen or the euro? What if the traditional response of buying gold doesn't work because it hasn't worked? So what are these people gonna do when they get caught off guard and you've got 70 or 85K Bitcoin and they go, oh no, I need to get involved. See, in crypto, everyone is like, you know, ooh, the cycle is here, you know. Let's get a whole bunch of Mountain Dew and stay up all night. Now, that is the way to go. People did make money that way in 2020 and 2021. I get it. But I don't think people are focused or focused enough about how this can, like, impact legacy. Like... FOMO in crypto looks a certain way. People have seen it, right? It's, you know, retail all the way in at the top and then big players drop it. But what happens if it's the reverse? What happens if it's retail on the sidelines or retail in crypto may be long the wrong stuff? Maybe they're long ETH and they should be long Bitcoin or maybe they're doing MetaMask and they should be doing Solana or Ordinals on Bitcoin right what happens if everybody is kind of off sides and what kind of price action are you going to get if people have to get on size on side right you get a much bigger rally than people expect in other words the trend is your friend everyone is bullish bitcoin but are they bullish enough are they are people asking themselves this question have people kind of gone you know, bullish crazy about upside price targets, right? Like take the securities tokens world. Goldman, all these big players, there's no liquidity anywhere in real estate. How urgent do you think it is that security tokens develop after the third cycle? Polymath came out in 2017, right? They were the biggest group in the history of Telegram at the time. They wanted to do security tokens, right? Telegram had to expand their technology to accommodate the polymath group. Two cycles later, nobody's talking about it. And what happens if they figure out how to do security tokens on the Bitcoin chain? Like what happens if blah, 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 blah occurs on the Bitcoin chain? What happens? No one is asking these questions. Now, the good news is I'm asking these questions. So based on some feedback that I got, you know, 
I'm not always psychic on the markets, you know, in all humility, but one person, I really liked it when he gave me the feedback that I at least lead you to see the markets. Like I, I show you how to look at the markets and then you can make the tactical decisions. Now, naturally, this is a good time to let you know, speaking of tactical decisions, right? Exactly, exactly. That this show is brought to you by my Patreon. Okay, there's the link down below. I'm building a community. Alpha, DGen, small coins, macro. I'm taking it to the next level, and I want your support to come along with me. So if you like what you're hearing and you want to get the alpha for the next cycle, because I think you're going to need a Wall Street mentality, you're going to need a currency mentality to really make the most of the next cycle, right? Even art on Bitcoin, right? If everything that occurs on ETH, that occurred on ETH in 2020, if all that happens on the Bitcoin chain or even the Solana chain, you got upside that people are not talking about yet. They're talking about the cycle, but they're not bullish enough. 